Hey guys, welcome to the Lunch Hour Review. Today I'm going to try this 505 Mexi Pizza. This is the beef, uh, taco beef Mexi Pizza. pizza. Um, it has Monterey Jack and cheddar cheeses, seasoned ground beef, mochajet sauce, Mo mochajet, mochajet, I don't know what it is, um, some kind of sauce, pinto beans on a crispy flour tortilla. It looks really good. I don't know what the top is. Is it like a... This be another tortilla. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Um, this was four forty-seven at Walmart. You get two in the box though, so so it's really half that. So it's only two twenty-five. That's not bad at all. So it's four hundred count or four hundred and sixty calories. It's kind of hard to see. Four hundred sixty calories per pizza. Um, there's your information for you. So where's the directions? I'm assuming it's on the side here. Yep. Okay. So, you can do it in the oven, probably is the recommended version, let me see. Um, heating times vary. Um, Alright, so we are we don't do things in the oven, we do things in the microwave. So, we're going to remove it from the film, place place it on top of a of the gray crisping plate inside this box, I'm assuming. Um, put it on a microwave safe plate, we use a paper plate, microwave it high for 20, for 20. For two minutes and 20 seconds and allow to cool before enjoying. So it's very specific. Two minutes and 20 seconds. So um, let's try it out. Let's see what they look like. I'm hoping they give you two of those little brown trays. They're crisping trays. Oh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. You could actually um, probably resell those in the store if you wanted to. So um, I can't, I don't know if I'll be able to open it. Hold on. Let me see if I can open it. Use my teeth. Okay, there it is. Aha. Um, and there's the tray. So I'm going to get this on a microwave safe plate, paper plate, and put it in the microwave for 220 and I'll be back. Okay, right, here it is on the microwave. Um, it smells like a green salsa, like a picante salsa. That's what it kind of smells like. Um, there's the meat inside. It smells pretty good, actually. How crispy did it go on the bottom? Yeah, not too bad at all. So I'm going to cut this into smaller pieces so I can uh, deal with it. I wish I the topping was either more evenly spread or it was a little bit more of it because you really just get it all on like one section. You know, they just close down the conveyor line, they just drop it on, and I'm assuming they just hit on that one spot and didn't get the rest of it. So anyway, um, I'm going to get it cut up, and cut up and cool off a little bit and I'll be back. Okay, I cut it up into little triangles because it's a pizza, right? Um, it's been cooled off for maybe a minute or so, um, not too bad. The edges were kind of hard to cut through. I'm using a metal knife. Uh, if you have a plastic knife, you may have to saw it a little bit more or, or a little like press it down and like divide it more than cut it. But um, yeah, it was, it was, the edges are kind of hard. So just to let you know that. There's a lot of cheese. Um, I don't know if you can see, see that inside? That's all cheese right, right there. That's all cheese inside there. So it's a very gooey cheese. It's not a, it's not a runny liquid cheese like you get from really processed, like processed, processed cheese. Um, this is more of a gooey, like a real, real cheese is. The edges are a little dry. But not too bad. It reminds you of, um, I don't know, almost like an egg roll kind of type. It's very flaky. I guess that's where I'm getting the egg roll thing from. It's a very flaky tortilla, which is good. I like a, a flaky tortilla. Um, it's good. It's a little firm. It's a little dry on the edges, but it's not bad. It still has a really good flavor to it, um, honestly. Yeah, I don't know what that sauce is, but I like it. I like that sauce. Let me try one more bite. This one doesn't have as much stuff on it. Hmm. I still like that flaky um, pastry almost. The um, it reminds me of um, of like filio dough or something like that. It's really good. So um, I enjoy this. It's really good. Um, Two hundred sixty calories. There's quite a bit of food here, so that's probably not bad because um, you get a bunch. I wish the toppings were a little bit evenly spread, but it's got plenty of cheese on it. I haven't noticed any uh, 
missing flavor or anything like that. And I love that sauce. What I couldn't pronounce it, but whatever it was, it's good. So I'm gonna give this one. It's not something I would go buy and buy all the time just because of the calories for me personally. So, uh, but flavor-wise, quality-wise, this is a good solid four and a half because it's it's highly recommended. You go try these out. I think you really like them. Um, sometimes Walmart sells these as individuals. Like I said, this was a two pack. Um, sometimes they sell them as individuals. Uh, you can find them in the freezer section individually wrapped. I'm not sure if this one's out individually yet or not, but it may be. So look for it. Um, overall, still 250 for I mean 450 for uh, the box of two is not bad either. So. If you like Mexican type food, try this out. By the way, it's not spicy, like so hot spicy. So if you don't like spicy food, I think you'd be okay with this one. I mean, it may have a little bit of a spice, a savory spice, but it's not like burn your throat spicy. So you would enjoy this. It's more cheesy than anything. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Really quick follow up. I finally figured out what the edge of that, that um, tortilla reminds me of. The edges pieces, I said it's very, very flaky. It's kind of dry and hard, but it's flaky. It reminds me of a pot pie crust, like the edges of a pot pie, which I absolutely love the edges of a pot pie crust. Um, it's super flaky, um, tastes like it's kind of got a little bit of a greasy flavor to it, where it's uh, you know, like a pastry dough would taste. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. So I'm still sticking with four and a half, but uh, that's what it reminds me of. If you ever had a pot pie with a really good, crispy, flaky uh, pastry on the outside, that's it. So anyway, catch you next time.